My name's Kurt Meir. I'm a petroleum engineer. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about well ownership and how you, you have to understand well ownership when you're doing reserves for your client because you have to know what share that they own or the mineral owner to each your client. So let's talk about well ownership and the three terms you have to understand. The first one is working interest. That's what share of the well you're paying for, what share of the expenses, drilling and operating costs. The revenue interest is what share of the revenue you're gonna get when you sell the oil and gas. The lease net revenue is the revenue on a lease that's left over after you pay the landowners or the mineral owners they're rolled in. Okay, here's a land and lease map sample example. We have two sections of land, 640 acres, 640 acres, owned by different families. And we have a proposed horizontal well right here and a, and a drilling unit that was set by the state. So this is a 640 acre drilling unit. All right, the Smith family owns 320 acres here, and they've leased it all to BP for one eighth royalty. The Alvarez family owns this 320 acres, and they've leased it to Exxon, but they got a higher royalty, 3 16th. The Adams family and the Mir family leased to XYZ Oil Company at one eighth royalty, but they're outside of the unit, so they're not going to be involved. The Lopez family owns all this land, 380 acres. They've leased to the operator, TDC Oil, for one eighth royalty. But the Jones family owns this 40 acres. They leased it to TDC Oil, but they got a little higher order. They negotiated a better deal. Let's look at the landowner summary, the mineral owner summary here. So the Smith family, they own 320 acres of land, but only 160 is in the unit. And the unit is 640 acres. So you divide the 160 by total acres and you get 0.25. Their royalty rate on the 1 8th royalty is 0.125. So you multiply these two numbers together, so their revenue interest is 0.03. So the Smith family is going to get 3% of the revenue from this well. The Lopez and, Jones and, and Lopez and Jones and Adams, their calculation is similar, and these are their shares. The Adams and Mir families, they're to the north, they're out of the well, so they get zero. Now let's talk about the working interest owners. TDC All is the operator, they have two leases and different acreage in the two leases and different net revenues in the two leases. So they own 280 on this lease acres. So that divided by that is 0 0.43. 0 0.43 times the lease net revenue on the Lopez lease is 0.38. And on the Jones lease, it's a little different and it's 0.05. So this is their total working interest. This is their revenue interest for TDC oil. Now BP owns 160 acres in the unit. So that's one fourth. 0.25 times their lease net revenue is 0.2188. So BP is going to have a revenue of 0.218. Exxon is going to have 0.02. Now XYZ company over to the north is not involved because they don't have a lease in the unit. So let's summarize. Here's the working interest, the entities that are involved in the well, and the revenue interest. The Smith family and all the families that own the minerals, they do not pay any, they have no working interest because they're not paying for the well. But they, uh, the TDC will have a 50% working interest, BP 25 and X125, so that totals 100. On the revenue, the landowners get their royalties in the form of a revenue interest here. And then the oil companies and working interest owners get their share. That adds to 100. So this is how you divide it up. And when you, if your client is TDC oil, when you run the economics and your software, you have to put these two ownership numbers. So anyway, I hope that explains it to you and you find that helpful. So just let me know if it is. Thanks.